Hi Celestial friends! I'm Echo, the Saving Sorceress, and today I'm going to let you in on all the secrets of my witchy magical library. An enchanted room tour on Halloween? Perfect. All my life I've dreamed of having a magical library in my house. I've been collecting knickknacks and curiosities for as long as I can remember. I was so ready to decorate this room, but I didn't have it yet. About a decade before I had a home to call my own, I created an animated version of what I envisioned for this room. You can see it here. Growing up, I was a huge Harry Potter fan, so naturally I was inspired a bit by my Hogwarts house. Can you guess what it is? Ravenclaw Tower, with its light-filled windows and its starry ceiling. And books! We can't forget about books. Well, technically I'm a Slitherclaw, so I added a few touches of Slytherin green around the room as well. Like my chair. It's emerald green. Perfection. Ooh, the sun's coming up. Time for the tour. And yes, I did stay up all night. I tend to do that. I sleep during the day, which may be why some people suspect that I'm a vampire. Anyway, this room is still a work in progress. You know, dreams take a very long time to achieve, but I'll show you what I've got so far. My potion bottles make an excellent backdrop for my videos, so you've seen a bit of them, but here they are in all their glory. The candelabra bottle is a particular favorite of mine. The candles are practically alive with movement. I really enjoy making decorative potion bottles, as well as ones for practical use. This little gnome friend feels right at home, hiding where he's least expected. Again, you see my original vision for the library, and my final result. The shelves lean in for a delightful rounded effect. From books on the sinking of the Titanic to Anne of Green Gables, all of my most favorite subjects reside here. Harry Potter, of course, gets an entire shelf. dragon in its lair. Which brings us straight to the Lord of the Rings shelf. All magic and memories and fantasy are welcome here. Pictures of my ancestors rest on these shelves to remind me where I come from, to remember them, and to honor them. You may have noticed that none of the candles in this room appear to have been lit. Well, I have a confession to make. I may be the only witch around who's absolutely petrified of fire. But to be fair, in light of the history of witchcraft, I think a fear of fire is quite reasonable. Everyone's practice is different. For me, magic is in the earth, the air, the sky, and all around us. Gardening and creating are where I manifest my magic. These potions may not measure up to the others, but they're just as important. I thrifted, painted, and restored this small shelf to give my tiniest potions a place of prominence. From looking at these, can you guess what my two favorite decorative potion bottle themes are? Here is the 
the design for my dream bay window seat. And oh look, I have it. Maybe not quite exactly what I pictured, but honestly, this is better. Of course, this ceiling is my very favorite part of the whole magical library. It's an accurate painting of the evening sky filled with stars on the night of my birth. I worked very hard to map out and transfer all the major stars and constellations that exist in the heavens above us. You may even spot a nearby galaxy. One day I'll have to make a video showing how I created it. I still have yet to make the stars glow because I haven't quite found the perfect paint for that. But I can't wait for the future cold winter night when I can stay warm beneath the pattern of my very own glowing stars. These colorful bottles hold stones that represent the ever important elements that join together to form our beautiful world. was gifted to me by the artist, who painted and sewed it together. The jack-o'-lantern is another gorgeous gift that catches the light perfectly. No, no, I'm not spying on the neighbors. This telescope is for stars only. the ever-important cauldron. I found this one secondhand as well, tucked away in the corner of a small shop. Honestly, thrifting is sacred to me. Saving and reusing things is such an important part of caring for the earth, our home. made all these pillows, many of them out of old clothes or costumes that hold special meaning to me. Let me introduce you to Nutty Bar, my owl. Yeah, I suppose Nutty Bar is a weird name for an owl, but being normal it's vastly overrated. Name that movie. My classic books like Shakespeare have made their home on this shelf along with many treasures gifted to me by my lovely friends throughout my life. This cross-stitch wizard was made for me by my best friend in middle school. It was among the first things I ever had that I knew would one day adorn the shelves of my magical library. Many things on this shelf my mom passed down to me including a handy book of home remedies. And now back up into the stars we go. Have you spotted any planets yet? They're all there, even Pluto. I couldn't forget about my favorite dwarf planet. So, I was desperately in need of a hat stand for my growing collection of witch hats. My family helped me to craft this enchanting stand out of a tree so I could have a bit of the forest in here with me. Here it is, the final piece of the puzzle. This rainbow of potion bottles belonged to me as a child, all except the one in the center. That one is an Egyptian perfume bottle so unbelievably ornate and whimsical. I've dreamed of having one of these since I was young. And this gilded map of the world ties the whole room together. Of course, every witch needs her broom. This one appears to be levitating, ready to grab and go as needed. This trunk I rescued from a girl who was about to throw it out. 
It was full of perfectly useful fabric as well. I can't imagine trying to discard something this stunning. From its curling metalwork and claw feet to its swirling patterns, it is among my favorite pieces in this room as well. Let me know how you decorate your dream room. Would you choose a magical library too? Well, I must say I can't wait to continue adding to this room. I'll make sure to film a video every step of the way, so add a like, subscribe, and click the bell for more witchy content like this, and videos about plants, sewing, and saving things, of course. I'll be back next Thursday with a brand new video, so see you soon. And remember, my celestial friends, save whatever beautiful and wonderful dreams that you have until you can make them a reality, be kind to yourself and to the universe, and try to add a little bit of magic wherever possible to your corner of the world. Bye. Oh my god, are you telling me that I didn't record a thing? That's fine. That's fine. We're fine. I'm fine. <laughs>